What's going on YouTube for Spray Flare and here and today we have this little teeny bit of reaction video because there is a video that came out today. It's a trailer for Sun and Moon. I am super hyped for it. I have not watched it yet. Trust me on that. It may appear that I want that I had watched it already, but ugh. English. I haven't watched it um, already, so I only came down to recording this now because of a certain person that is in the Skype call right now. Say hi. Hey everyone. Deanna here. It's you not my fault. The voice. Watch this also over randomize if you don't know who it is. Also subscribe. Yes. And like. Hey. I don't like because I don't know how those copyright strikes work, so. Anyway, let's get right into it. Um, Dia, how much do you like behind? Um. Probably like one second, uh, right? Probably. Alright, so. Um, on the count of three, you are going to play your video. Like, we have to sync our videos, guys, if you are confused with what yeah. I'm doing. And I'm going to hit play just almost one second after that, so just. Then we make sure that we sync up our videos. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, play. So we are getting right into this. That is amazing. Amazing oh evolutions. Goodness. I am hyped for this. What is it going to? Okay. <gasps> I, I, I see that in the oh thumbnail. That looks, it so, looks so, good. so beautiful. It is pretty. It is so beautiful. Those front paws. It though. looks like a griffin. Oh, whoa. Shit. That's pretty epic. That is beast like. Oh my god, it's like Arceus! Yeah. Actually, it's like Arceus. Unique move. It's a grass type move? What? Fire type? It That's is so Arceus. I wanna see it is, is another Arceus. I want to see the dragon screw, screw, color. Screw form. my fake one. Screw my fake one. This <gasps> is Arceus. <gasps> oh oh my so goodness. Terrible. Dragon it's fighting. Its name looks like an emoticon. No, it's dragon fighting. It's dragon fighting. It is dragon fighting. That is such a good typing. Four times weak to fairy, but oh shit my on goodness. that! Holy no, crap, not that the is so good. This design is it's perfect. It's so beautiful. It's so perfect. I can't see the fire yes. type, but it's so perfect. I Clanging love this scales. Pokemon. I want this. I want it. I want it right now. Bounce and evolve. What is what? What? Oh, it's adorable. <gasps> it is so cute. Wait, oh wait. God. Oh my goodness. That's like the floor. To Serena. Like, it, it turned from deep super cute to super cute to agile and elegant as fuck. That looks so cool. It looks so pretty. It looks like yes. Roserade and Kare, just like sassy old Roserade. No, it looks like a Roserade and a Cherubi. Queenly like, Majesty? Like, that line is kind of mixed. Dropkick. What's Drop Queenly kick. Majesty? We have to, we have to uh, go on the oh. Pokemon website. Oh, we saw that in the Japanese trailer. We saw that thing in the Japanese yeah. trailer. Yeah. It's so cute. Fairy. It really does, and it's got that cute little scarf on it. Exactly! It's, so, it's like Greninja, except not with its tongue. Yeah, thank you. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> Michael, it's that looks beautiful. So funny. That looks I want to so use that on my team now. Does he have, like, fingernails? All his fingernails. Oh my goodness. Those are actually Girl, fingernails. like, you don't even know <gasps> what you're talking about. Call this, look at it! Imagine so it perfect. shiny. Ugh. I don't no, that think would be so it, cool. It's shiny. New trainers? New trainer. New trainers. Oh, she pretty. Oh. She is she's pretty. Safe. The Kahuna I the, Oh, that's she's a trial a master. She's a trial master. Nose Island pass. Kahuna. Rock type? Kahuna. Kahuna. Yeah, isn't that the trial master? Oh, that's a trial master. Never mind. I think we saw her. She looks like she's got something feature. stuck in her eye. Yeah, kinda. Normal type. Normal type. Why oh, this is oh, the this trial is... with the wow. forest. This is awesome. Yes. This is a really good break from all the gyms right now. This is great. Yes. This, this is on. beautiful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to go to the Pokemon website. Because I want to yes. look at this dragon thing again. Uh, Pokemon, 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 Sun and Moon. Oh my god, I'm actually shivering right now. I'm so excited. Uh, Pokemon, that Sun and Moon. Crazy. I think that is it. I am pretty sure. Uh... No, it isn't. Nope. Clicked on the wrong thing. We are on the other... What the hell? That should be it. Good job. Yes, that is it. Got it. It needs to load, though. Oh, there we go. Anyway, uh... Um, for this, I think I'm going to screen share. Right? Okay. Alright, so we are back in just a second. I'm going to set up screen share with uh, Dia here, and I'll see you guys in just a second. And we are back. She, uh, she can see it. She'll... 
so she may be a little bit uh, behind just because screen share takes a while to get through. And so, what do you want to look at uh, first? I want to see the muck. I have never the before muck. wanted to use a muck before now. I want to use this thing just because it's so funny. It has a really yeah, good typing. No, Poison Dark is great. It, is beautiful. it looks funny. It's like an it's like a new drapion now. It it looks like uh, you know when you have this uh, special ink that is kind of like a mixture of certain things and it's just ink and you put it into water and when you put your hand in it and back out your hand your whole arm is just like covered in this ink. Yes. It yes, looks like it. It looks exactly like it. Exactly. I'm, if I'm yes. if I'm going to catch it, I'm naming it psychedelic. No other thoughts about that. A lowland mug eats whenever it is in reach. What? Again. A lowland mug eats whatever is in reach without pausing. And it and if it feels sharp pangs of hunger, it runs muck. <laughs> Get it? A muck? Because it's muck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's thought that its voracious appetite stems from an inability to maintain its energy levels without a consistent influx of toxins. Toxins have accumulated in the lowland muck's body from its steady diet of various waste products and manufactured materials. This accumulation has brought about a chemical change producing a new, new kind of toxin. So basically because it ate garbage, it became garbage. It, it is, it, you are what you eat. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, um, imagine if coughing and wheezing did the same thing and they just started shooting different colored gas. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, let's look at the dragon type next, will we? Yes, it looks like chainmail armor. Uh, chainmail, what? Yes, it looks beautiful. It looks so good. I don't know what it to also say, looks like it a... looks so good, I love it. Yes, it looks like it's got like a bunch of coins layered on each other. <laughs> I think I'm going to name a gambler. Gambler. You know what I mean. At the end of yeah. its harsh training, uh... Hakamao, uh, so basically the middle stage evolution, evolves into this overwhelmingly powerful form. This is the pseudo legendary calling it. It returns to oh, the yes. land of its birth where it watches over the Jangmo from distance. There is a legend th uh, that says Komo is covered in glittering scales in order to drive away a great darkness covering the world. That is so pseudo legendary. The reason these uh, yes. Pokemon seek out battle is to gain power needed to defeat this darkness. That's why it's fighting time, because fighting is uh, super effective against dark. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. When it detects someone approaching, this Pokemon rings the scales on its tail and to announce its uh, presence. It has no desire to battle against weak Pokemon. Pseudo legendary. It's like a rattlesnake. It. it looks like it's this, like a rattlesnake. Uh, what? It's like a rattlesnake. Like it shakes its tail whenever there's something nearby. Yeah, kind of. But uh, it kind of reminds me more of this. Uh, I don't know, dinosaur that has this huge uh, ball with all these uh, spikes on its tail. True, true. I don't know what's called. Someone in the, the comment section tell me what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's like the Ankylosaur. I have no clue. You probably know that better than I do. I'm gonna look it up. Alright. So I'm going to read the rest of this thing because I love it. I love it yes. so much. Komo's great move is the uppercut? It swings a sky uppercut basically, away. Or is it a new move? I wouldn't be surprised if it learned it. It, it looks like it, like sending, the f sending its foe flying into the sky. That sounds like Skyapricot. It does. Well, even if it gets Skyapricot, Skyapricot isn't actually that bad of a move. It just doesn't really have any secondary effect. Apart from that, you can use it when uh, someone uses Skydrum on you. Ankylosaurus. I was yeah, right. Alright. Then you are right. Great. I need a sip of this drink. <laughs> This is uh, like green like my headphones. Like you saw my headphones, right? The drink I'm drinking yeah. right now is just as green. Nice. And it tastes like sour apple and it's so delicious. <laughs> Clanging scales is a m Oh, new move! Clanging scales is a move that only Komo can learn. It scrapes the scales covering its body against one another, attacking with a great clamor. What is a clamor? It's like loud noise. So basically it's a sound type move. Mm-hmm. Is that going Which to is be funny special? considering it's got soundproof ability. True. So <laughs> it's going to be like a sound dragon fighting type. Doesn't mean like it's going to be special because like I don't recall any sound moves being uh, physical. No even. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sorry if that destroyed your, uh, your ears. My bad. Uh, this thing is great. You know. You want to know what? 
over the course of the, right. um, the my autumn holidays, I'm going to draw this thing. Calling it right now, I'm doing a speed painting of this dragon type family. I'm doing spoilers. True. <laughs> I'm doing Jangmo O, Komo O, yeah, Komo O, and oh shit, wait, that wasn't Komo O. How Komo? Those names are weird. Jangmo O, Hakomo, Hakomo Mo Mo. They sound so. They sound so Japanese. So weird. They really do. Yeah. So what do you want to look at next? There, there are a couple more things. I love Beaker Vault, by the way. I don't know why yes. I love Beaker Vault. Let's actually let's look at. What about the, the cutie fly? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see the cutie like. The... Ribombi, be a fly Pokemon. It's bug fairy. It's so light. It's lighter than flabby. I want to see why it has that scar. Let's read it. Rib uh, base collect flowers, uh, flower and nectar. God, I can't read. And pollen to make into balls known as pollen puffs. Lol. These serve as food, and what's more, they can also cause a fight like par uh, paralysis or dizziness. That's going to be a new move, calling it. Rubombe may use oh, puffs yeah. to strike their opponents during battle. Some of the pollen puffs are Rubom. There's so many bees and ours, I can handle it. <laughs> we also have uh, relaxing, relaxing effects that can relieve tiredness. Aww. This is like the perfect alarm clock. These are, distrib yes. these are distributed um, around the Alola region as high priced supplements. So basically, food. <laughs> it's like breakfast. It's like it's it's breakfast that is literally kicking you out of bed. Because when you wake so, up, you're most likely dizzy. So it's kicking you out of bed, yeah. but you have like a fully, awesomely nutritious breakfast, and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And fight that, Kamo. I got it right. So there's a yes. There's a game that Nintendo partnered with Monolith Soft to make called Xenoblade Chronicles. There is a race that pretty prominent in the game that create pollen orbs, which is the basically the same thing as pollen puffs. Like, they make the balls that create light, like they generate light, but they can also eat it, too. Nice. Look at Game Freak reusing ideas. Yes. Well, they've always re uh, reused idea. We have Mold Breaker, Terra Vault. Basically for the those same. Of you, <laughs> yeah, for those, of, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, just imagine if the Rumbombe and the, no the Napon were just living together it would be amazing. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I guess some of the of you guys out there know. Uh, Rabombe hate getting rained on. Well, obviously. It's, it's gorgeous. They're like a bee. Like, bees kind of disappear yes. when it's, as soon as it starts raining. They're covered with the fluffy hairs that hold the pollen they've gathered, and the rain makes them wet and dirty. A lot of people know that if Rabombe is busily flying, visit. Busily visiting the fields of flowers, you can be sure that the fair weather will continue. This is such a hard winter text, this is- wait. <laughs> <laughs> it really is too late. It is too late. <laughs> I'm recording this at 9pm, breaking the fourth wall, but it is too late for this. <laughs> this is <Yeah>. too late. <laughs> so, okay. so in the trailer it showed like where you were fighting Muck, and I'm pretty sure the background for the battle was like in a city, which makes me like- from what I'm thinking, is like the first city that you really face. You know that has like that crack in the wall where you, where they revealed the like the photo snap. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking um, at it right now. Uh, like I'm, I'm yeah. trying to find it though. Uh, yeah. Where is the lone um, Oh yeah, I want to check out the grass uh, thing because it has like a really great ability that yeah. I don't know already. Wait, no, it's, it's I'm not I'm trying to find yeah. the battle background. That looks weird. Okay, so it, it's. Nearby a city, so yeah, it's kind makes, of like right outside the city. Makes me think that like, you may be able to find that mid-game. Probably. Or that there is actually like a sort of thing, like a park in the middle of the city, like we had in Castelia City. Uh, when you go uh, through the sewers, there's a little staircase, at least a black and white too. You can yeah. access a little uh, park. I can find Eevees in there, and I did not know. I walked in that. Uh, oh I walked in that room by accident, and I found an Eevee, and I was overjoyed. <laughs> I'd be in that spot for hours, trying to find a good one. I was in that spot for hours because after I caught the Eevee, I wanted to have another Eevee to evolve into another Jolteon. Oh boy! And uh, Eevee in that route had like a five percent encounter chance. It was really low. Oh yeah, and plus they're super tough to catch. I kept running out of Pokeballs. Exactly. So, last but not least, we are going to check out this beautiful Rose Raid imposter here. I know, I'm sorry. 
uh, because I want to know about its uh, ability, which is Leaf Guard or Queenly Majesty. So this is going to be a really female Pokemon, or probably all female, like Florges, like the Florges line. Well, don't forget, we also have to look at um, Type Null's evolution, too. Oh, true. Thank you for, rem for reminding me, but that is one of the most awesome things um, there. So I think we're going to keep that for last. Yeah. Yes. So let's check this out. Uh, Serena. I'm going to name it Serena. Everyone's going to name her Serena. Has the nature of high class nobility. Any Pokemon or human that approaches it with evil in mind will be punished for with. Forth with. English. I can't read. It's way too late for me to read. This is hard. It even turns its fearsome glare upon its own trainer if the two of them are not fully in sync. Or if its trainer, trainer orders it to use a move that will be ineffective. Ooh. Alrighty then. A royal little shit. I'm sassy. Exactly! <laughs> See? I, I, I said earlier in the trailer, that's like a sassy rosary. I said it. I called yes. it. I called it. <laughs> Serena is a high kicking uh, virtuoso. Can you read that, please? <laughs> virtuoso? I, I don't even know that word. Me neither, that's the point. It has honed these <laughs> uh, skills beyond the level it achieved as a Dini, so that's a pre, uh, pre evolution. And it attacks Stenet. with graceful movements. At the same time, its fragrance uh, mesmerizes its opponent, dealing them a secondary attack. Ooh. That's scary. Mm -hmm. Trap Kick is a move that only yeah. Serena can learn. It lowers an opponent's attack by showering it with blazing hot kicks. Whoa. Shit. So it's like a fire type move? Yeah, but it's not a fire type at all. Oh. It's said that this Pokemon loses its strength if touched on the crown like protuberance on its head. Words. Protuberance is a type of flower, so I'm thinking oh, like it gets weak if sense. you touch its flower on its head. That really makes sense. Since Arena have the Queenly Majesty ability, with no other Pokemon as previously had. Well, no shit, Game Freak. First time we ever heard of it. Oh, so it's like dazzling. It uh, prevents let's priority moves. Read it. The effects of Queenly Majesty <laughs> are so intimidating that it prevents opponents from using priority moves. Yo, that is the counter. That is that is the counter to like a Rubber Day form. We got a better it. Bruxious. True. I, actually, you're right. Yeah. It's, it's basically like Bruxious' ability. It blocks priority moves. Mm -hmm. So let's look at Type Null, Silvalli. That's such a weird name. RKS. Oh yeah, you see the little... You see the crown that's on Tessarina's head? Yes, what? Uh -huh. No, I already asked away. I'm going to look at it. What, what are we going to say? Hold on. Say it. People can look in. No, because I was I was pointing out where it was on it, because you were like, what was it talking about? So oh, I was yeah, just I, I saw it. Okay, okay. When Type Null gains a partner it can trust, it deliberately destroys the restraining device it wears. Only re once released from that heavy mass, the Pokemon speed increases substantially. Oh, this is going to be such a powerful Pokemon. This is going to be Insta Huber. <laughs> Afraid of the restating effects of its mass, Silvalli's senses are heightened and it reverts to its natural temperament. It has a wild nature, but, will, but it will obey a trainer that it trusts. And, and to protect that trainer from danger, it will put its own life on the line. Yo, that is a sick Pokemon. Silvalli is said to have been created to oppose a threat. Well, of course, if it's going to protect you to the death, it's probably meant to protect you to the death. By inserting exclusive items into the drive on Silvalli's head, I was so afraid of what's going to say somewhere else. Its <laughs> RKS system can be activated, causing Silvalli's automatic somatic cells to mutate and glow. The RKS system allows, enables it to change its types and its cells glow with a different color of light depending on its type. This is Arceus! This is going to be like a better Arceus. I don't like Arceus. I really don't. <laughs> This is going to be a second Arceus. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just trying to think, like, if it's gonna have, like, specific moves for it, like Arceus had its different plates, or if it's, like, any of them. Like, let's say you give it a Leftovers, and it'll turn into, like, a Grass-type, as well as gain the abilities from Leftovers. And if that's the case, it makes you think what types each item will have. Well, well it says here that, um... By inserting exclusive item into the drive, so it's basically going to have uh, something like plates. Okay, yeah. But I don't think they're actually going to be plates, so it's going to be something different, I think. 
It said in the Core Core leaks that they were called memories, which makes me think of it a lot more like Genesex's drives. True. But in Arceus form. Yo, I, I love this Pokemon so much. Like just that the uh, just like the plates uh, for Arceus uh, for this one are called memories. It's just yes. so deep and and you can yes, evolve it. I want it. I want it now. I want that emoji to come out. That... Oh, the thing that's channel. on its tail, is it connected to it? Or is, or is there like a membrane? Or is it just sitting what? there? What? Like, the tail, it looks like a fish tail, but like that little prong thing in the middle, like, is that connected? Or is there like a membrane? Or is it just sitting there? So I, I honestly can't about, tell. But the tail is definitely connected. Oh, I know what you mean. No, I think there yes. is. I think there is a membrane because if you look at uh, Type Null before it uh, gets the mask off, it's definitely a membrane. Okay. But it basically, just turns white. Like also the color turns white. So. Okay. Yeah. So Valley's ability is called the RKS system, which no previous Pokemon has ever had. It's basically multi-type, basic. I think. Uh, by having Savali hold items that correspond to each Pokemon type, it can change its own type. Yeah, it's basically like uh, multi-type. The plates. Yeah. Multi-attack is a move that only Silvalli can learn. This move changes based on which type related item Silvalli is holding, so judgment. It may be physical, but it's because you saw that uh, it kind of like claws at the opponent. Yeah. Yeah. So, my thought on this, uh, on this thing is basically, uh, it's basically like another Arceus, probably like a counterpart with uh, slightly different stats. I don't think it has 120 across the board because it says that its speed uh, drastically increases. So it probably has really yeah. high um, attack and special attack. Well, maybe not special attack, but really high attack and speed. And somewhat mm -hmm. decent defense. Okay, so you know how people like creating things in the images of quote unquote God? And Arceus is considered the god of the Pokemon universe, so maybe people created this, um, to, like try to create like another Arceus to, like to def oppose said threat. You know what I'm thinking? Hmm. Game Freak stole my idea of my fake mon. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally that. It's literally oh my there god. to balance Arceus. <laughs> well, okay, so it's not. I don't think it's made to balance Arceus itself, but to create another Arceus. Yeah, well, it ha if it has like crazy stats like Arceus has, it's basically there to counter Arceus, like at least in the metagame. Maybe. Well, that's just something we're gonna have to wait and see for when the game comes out. Yeah, true. But have I you pre-ordered it? It, it, look, it looks so nice. It does. It, ha it has this... Have uh, you pre-ordered it yet? What? Have you pre-ordered it yet? No, I should do that. Yeah, you really should. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I've already pre-ordered Pokemon Sun. I need to pre-order both because I'm let's playing Pokemon Moon because people voted for it, but every uh, Pokemon Sun Pokemon I like more than the Moon version. And it's just like, yeah. guys, someone has to do the job, right? Like, everyone's going to play a Pokemon Sun because just a Pokemon is so much cooler. Well, I was Pokemon Sun. I, I was on Pokemon Moon Team until the Lycanroof came out, exactly. and I'm like, I want, I, I want the Sun Evolution, and I don't feel like trading for it. I, I want the Sun Evolution too. I love it so much more than the uh, than the Midnight form because, like, Midnight's form special move is literally counter, and it's just so boring. <laughs> well, I just don't like how it's all like hunched over. Like, it could have been on all fours, yeah, like Lycanroof. It's, basi it's basically like, like a Zoroark copy. That's what I thought about it. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think that concludes um, this. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. This is the first time we are actually going to do it. So if another uh, trailer pops up, I think this was the second last, I think, like the next one. I don't know. There may be like one or two more trailer videos. So I'm going to be excited for that. I'm going to do reaction videos on those possibly too. And if my friend here on the Skype call can be moved to actually talk to me. Woo. <laughs> I'm kidding, no, I asked you earlier, so it's fine. So I'm going to ask her if she wants to be a part of it um, again, and let me know what you think about it. So definitely make sure to, to leave a like, and let me know your thoughts on these Pokemon. I think they're really, really cool, especially uh, this dragon thing, which I'm definitely going to draw. I'm 
count on it. I'm, I'm drawing this thing. Want to practice how oh, to? Oh, I'm gonna draw him too. This is such a complicated Pokemon design, though. It's probably going to take me a while until I master it. At least until I master I'm gonna be it. Making... Set that decently that I can draw it. Like, um, you're going to uh, see a speed paint of me drawing uh, Toracat, and I was sitting there for two days trying to call, trying to draw the cat before I actually was able to even draw the head. Wow. Yeah, so it probably takes me a while to draw this complicated little guy, but I'm definitely going to do it. I love it so much. I want it. Yo, if it gets Dragon yes. Dance. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is going to be one powerful little guy. Yes. Big guys. Also, I'm going to be making a trainer card of the fan art people make for these Pokemon, so keep an eye out for that in the group. If anyone wants a trainer card, comment down be below, let me know, post in the group, do something. And if I don't you mind. are not from the group, dear, some people are not from the group, some people come over from right. Pokemon Amino, shoutouts to you guys, you're awesome. Um, I'm going to leave a link to uh, Blue, Triceratops, uh, Blue Triceratops' channel because he does coverage of the group Dia just mentioned. And if you want to join, there is um, a how-to video. So. Hopefully I can see uh, can see some of you guys there because it's a really fun group. Check them out. Anyway, let's spin this yes. for this episode because my camera stopped recording in 30 seconds, which is not great. So we probably should end this episode off here. We have nothing more to talk about, I don't think. And if so, no. I'm going to do another video with her. So make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't yet uh, to make sure you don't miss out on any Sun and Moon coverage. Let's play coming November 23rd because Europe. Anyway, that's been me and Frost Fire Flaren. See you later. Bye, guys.